Sweet. What's that, 150, 160? Drops fast when you take it out of the water. Okay, so first what I'm going to do is cut down a bunch of these two foot sections out of the ten foot sections of copper pipe I bought. Okay, then let's go ahead and measure the pipe. Then you just line this up, snap it on. Just like that. There it is. There's seven of them. We're going to cut two more. The one on the top and the one on the bottom. Those will both be 30 inches each. By the way, you're going to have two choices on the copper. They sell type M and type L. Go with type L. Okay, and this is what you should be left with. It's not scrap though, we're going to need the rest of it. Okay, now for the connector pieces in between the elbow joints, we want to cut nine sections, each exactly one and one eighth inch long. That seems to work out the best. One and one eighth inch. That'll allow the pipe to be spaced exactly two inches apart on the board, evenly all the way up and down. We'll do a quick test, we'll slide them on, put the little piece in the middle, and it's exactly two inches between the pipes. It's exactly what I wanted. Alright, so out of the 20 feet that we started with, that's all that's left, about two inches. Okay, so that's the basic layout right there. Then we got to do a couple things to prepare this for the soldering. So first, take a little piece of the 120 grit abrasive cloth and shine up the end of each pipe. Now I'm just going to do the little ones. Okay, time to solder. So we just add the flux here, 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 and here, a little bit on here. Push this together, put it on there, and fire it up. Just heat it up. Okay, that's all there is to it. Then we just do seven more and we're done. Alright, I've been working on it for about an hour and a half now. I just got the last one to go. Then just slide the side pieces in and mark where you want to put the hole for the pipe.
All right, now take the small 3 8 inch screws and we'll fasten the pipe down. By the way, those screws are so small, I'm not even going to drill the pilot holes. Just screw them straight into the wood. It won't crack and it'll give you a better connection. Okay, and there's the pipe secured down. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and cut down the small wooden dowels and they'll be put inside the collector to support the glass. Okay, now let's go ahead and sand this out right here just a little bit so the copper pipe will fit back through. About like that. Okay, then let's finish up the other end piece. Now I'll go ahead and sand this one a little bit. Okay, now let's go ahead and add the hose adapter. So like that. And then that'll screw on. It looks too short, but it really isn't. Once we line it all up and solder it on, that'll be perfect. And this fits right inside of there. Okay, now let's take a straight coupler, and we'll solder this onto the other side. This is the outlet, and then from there you can add pipe or connectors or wherever you want the water to go. That should come right off. Again, super easy to solder. Just heat it from below and melt the solder on. And there it is. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and secure this inner board to the back board with the three quarter inch screws. So here's the final hardware to put it together. These four will be for the four corners of the 2 by 2s and these will be to hold the back on. Alright, now I'm going to drill the corners. and the corners alright now I'm just going to do the back got the four corners done I'll do three along there and two here
Okay, now let's drop the handle on. And here's a quick shot of the glass on it. Fits perfect. The highest piece of copper in there, by the way, is still a full eighth of an inch away from the glass. Most of it's a quarter inch away. Here it is on a little homemade wooden stand. I have a separate video on how to make that solar panel stand. Alright, there it is. Beautiful. Perfect. No leaks, staying completely dry on this side too.